Everything ain't mental health. Some stuff is bad behavior. Mm. Everything is not a mental illness. Some stuff is dudes with bad behavior. I'm saying dudes because the majority of these situations are perpetrated by men. Even the people who were bullied. That's why sometimes you got to teach your child to deal with that bully in school and not run from that bully in school. There are no anti-bullying programs at work. Let me just say that right now. I know, I know this is not popular conversation. But you, you can't protect your child from every bully because he's going to have to face bullies at work. And the way you face a bully at work is say, hey, man, can I speak to you for a minute before we leave? Mm-hmm. You know, I really don't appreciate what you're saying. You kind of make my work environment a little uncomfortable. I want to know what we can do to, re- to resolve that. Most people who are bullies, first of all, they don't want no smoke. They don't want none. They don't want no heat. And they can tell the fact that you're asking them this or confronting them with this shows them that you are not scared of them. And most people right. who uh, bullies, they, eat, they, they utilize, they leverage power. Power because they are in a leadership position. Power because they have tenure. Power because it just seems like you're afraid of them because maybe they got weapons or they talk about their guns or they're a big person, whatever. Learn how to resolve conflict. But going back in the job and shooting them up and then you find out that this person right here had been bullied, that's not the excuse. It's not the excuse. That's not mm-hmm. a valid excuse. I need, to, I need that to be clear.